So you, that, that should let you know that it's going to be a time like never before. Because here it is, the Archangel Michael, all right, going to have to come down, all right, to uh, to uh, to deliver the elect. You know what I'm saying? To cover the elect, man, all right, from the danger and the set, and the set peril that's set before Babylon the Great. Go ahead. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even that same time. Right, now, now grab that word trouble and hit the monitor. You know, because what it is is people seem not to look at the word and take the word to pay value. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta start digging into these words, man. You know? You gotta dig into grief. Understand what grief means. You know what I'm saying? Understand what Solomon means. That them things is coming from uh, Paul Babylon and Great. All right, and that will put fear in you when you understand what a word means. If the Lord not put these words, all right, in this book for no reason, man, there's a reason why every word that is written in the way it's written. So here it is, it's a time of trouble like never before since a what a nation. All right, got it up. Go ahead, go ahead. This is trouble in the ethmonline.com. Huh. A verb. From the twelve, uh, twelve hundred, it says, um, to trouble, to stir, make cloudy, stir up, mix, to trouble, make, uh, to make turbid, tur turbid. Um, or I say trouble in the noun. It says, um, emotional turmoil. Right, emotional turmoil, man. You see that? That's that's Jacob Trouble. It was a motion turmoil. <gasps> Why? You know what I'm saying? You, you seen you seen your best friend get killed. You seen your mama go down. You know what I'm saying? You seen your favorite uncle go down. All right, you're gonna be in a motion of turmoil, man. All right, you seen you losing everything that you had. Yeah. That's, you're gonna be emotional, man. You know, you're gonna be one off yourself. If you ain't got the spirit of you, how about you know what you know, go ahead. Uh, it says a concern, a cause for worry. I see a cause for worry. This is the time that we fashion approaching, man. It's gonna be a time of worry, man. What about what? How you gonna eat? You know what I'm saying? How you gonna survive? Is you gonna get some sleep? Is my kids gonna be all right? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be safe. It's gonna be a time of worry. 
All right? So that's why I say get it while the getting is good because it's good to get the wet to understand it now. Because in a minute, that spiritual eye is going to be closed, man. All right? And the Lord ain't going to have what? No pleasure. That's why you say what? Seek the Creator in the day that I use. All right? While the days is, uh, you got that? What did they have? Uh, what did it have? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, bro. The class C twelve and one. Remember now that greater in the days of that youth. Uh huh. While the evil days come not. Right. While the evil days come not. If not, we are fast and approaching the evil times, bad times. All right. So you gotta remember you how about Shema was shot once you hear this word. You know what I'm talking about? It's just like when when you when when a man. All right. On the on, on the offense on the kickoff return. All right. When he get that football in his hand, his main goal is to what? To make it to the touchdown. All right. Main thing is make it to the touchdown. That's his only focus. And that's us and the truth, man. Our only focus to what? To make it to the kingdom of heaven. So when we receive the truth, like that football received that kickoff return, guess what? We got to be on our way, on our job. My main mission is to get to the other end, right? Our main mission is to get to the kingdom of heaven. All right? So we got to remember the Lord in the day of our youth, man, while we still got it, while we still able. The doors of the pit is still available. You see, we can't be like Jake, because you know, the scriptures say, well, put out not, put out not day to day. Turn back to the Lord, man. You got to draw now. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, remember now that cradle in the days of that youth, uh -huh. while the evil days come not. Yeah. Know the years draw not, when that's the say, I have no pleasure in them. Exactly. See, the Lord not going to have no pleasure in Babylon soon to come. Because once the elect gets sealed, what happens? Sudden destruction. You know? The Lord going to take us off these streets. It's going to be a wrap. You know? We got to rock. I hate to join in the old blue belt. Go ahead, the trouble. Yeah, yeah. we got this crazy. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, trouble in a blue letter Bible. Uh -huh. And it's... And it's straits, distress, trouble, affliction, adversity. Right, see, affliction. You see that? So this is a time that we're coming into. All right, niggas finna start being afflicted, man. All right, by who? You how about Shema was shot? You see? Because you were settled on your knees. All right, you thought the grass was greener on the other side. So now you're gonna deal with the turmoil. Now you're gonna deal with the affliction, the anguish, all right, the disturbing. You see? Go ahead. Anguish, tribulation, and, and adversary. Right, tribulation. You see? You got that word? Oh, it's an E-X. E-R. What's that like? Uh, E-X. Well, I don't know if you have uh, E-X. No, B, B, E, A, C, R. Bitch. Yeah. It's a verb from the 15th century from the ethamonline.com right. and it reads to shake, jolt, uh, toss violently. What? To attack. Who? To shake, right? Yep. To what? Toss violently. Go ahead. Figuratively attack, harass, trouble, annoy on every side. Mm. You see what's coming? He got martial law. You got the FEMA camp, you got the wars, the race wars, the class wars. You see all this gonna happen? All this uh, chaos, the commotion that's gonna go on? Read that definition again up. This is Vex and the Ethem Online. And what I say, when you start to dig down into these words, man, these words get serious, man. Go ahead. Vex is a verb, and it says, uh, Vex, harass. Harass. To shake, to, to grow. Bro, it's gonna be a lot of harassment going on, man. You know, especially for two thirds, man. You know, nigga still gonna be trying to be out here with you know, lock, lock, roam in the street. Nigga gonna still be trying to uh, sit on the porch and smoke. You know what I'm saying? Still be trying to ride the street in the hell, carry shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to show out. They gonna get harassed. They gonna be a what? They gonna be mad shooting, mad stealth. Because they ain't gonna, 
the third the time that they in. You know, they ain't gonna realize they in Jacob trouble. They ain't gonna realize it's a time of trouble. You know? Go ahead. A, uh, literally attack, harass, trouble, annoy. You got it out. That, that's brilliant right there, bro. Go ahead. And then we'll jump back to that jump. All right. Yeah, this, we're going to that thing right here. This the book of Isaiah 8 and uh, 21. Huh. And that should pass through it, hardly to stand and hungry. And it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry, they should fret themselves and curse their king and their power and look upward. <laughs> and yeah, hey, read it one more time. I know you break it down, but that's so beautiful, though. Okay, it's, it's self explanatory when you put your mind into it. So they're going to curse their kings, man. Yeah. You know, they're going to be cursing. They're going to be going in on EAS. Yeah, they're going to be talking about going in on the president and the government to the council. Everyone that's in a, in a, in a, in a, higher, uh, a higher power seat. You know, the people, that, that's why you know you're going to have uh, the, 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 uh, the, the class wars, man. You know? Tradition. Yeah, go ahead. Isaiah 8 and 21. And they should pass through it, all he be standing hungry. Yeah. And it shall come to pass that when they should be hungry, they should fret themselves and curse their king yeah. and their power and look upward. Yeah, you got it out. So they're going to curse out their king or the president's tradition. They're going to curse out their God, whatever God they believe in. They're going to curse them out, you know. Because why? They they stomach testing their back. Yeah. You no, know, because of famine, great tribulation. <laughs> what does what it say? Uh, Isaiah 31? It said, we want to do that went down to Egypt for help. You see, so the struggle not to you because you trusted in this so-called white man system. You know what I'm saying? You trusted in your own self. So you thought you going by you doing what you was doing, you you that's how you gonna make it out of here. Gonna make it out of her. Yep. You but, know what I'm saying? So guess what? Discretion up to you. Yep. So you're gonna be cursing a uh, 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 big mama out. You're gonna be cursing your auntie out. Or the one who paid you to go to college. You're gonna be you're gonna be cursing a lot of motherfuckers out, man, because what? They led you down the wrong road. Verse 22. I, 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 think, I don't know, man. Isaiah 8 and 22. And they should look unto the earth and behold, trouble and darkness. Then, what? Yep. It said trouble and darkness. It, which is that darkness represent what? Confusion. That darkness represent a lot of uh, 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 chaos, man. Meaning you ain't gonna have no peace. All right? Go ahead. And they should look unto the earth and behold, trouble and darkness, dimness of anguish, and they should be driven through darkness. Ooh, yeah. See? They're gonna be going through hell. Yeah. Literally. You know, they gonna our people, our people and the other uh, you know what I'm saying? They's gonna be hey, they gonna be catching pretty hell, man, the time of Jacob Trumper, man. Right. Yeah. You hey. know, all because they despise the, the, the word of you have about some outside. I'm gonna say something. I just gonna say it said those that look out the window to be darkness. Yeah. You know, because that's what the future holds. Nothing but darkness and chaos, man. Let's see. So this was about to come to us. Straight darkness. Time like no other. You know? It ain't been dark yet. You hear this shit, man. Look. So the night, hey, what is that? The night is at hand. Be You know? Okay. It's back at Daniel, chapter 12. Verse 1, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. You see that? Uh, what that in Revelation? Uh, uh, my elect. I think, uh, Lord sees about the living his elect. You know, that's the, that's the, that, that bullshit right there, man. Read it again, Mike. This is Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince. The Michael is the archangel to come back with our Lord. You know, Yahweh, go ahead. We're standing for the children of thy people. The children of thy people represent the Israelites. 
uh, the so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, wherever Israel been scattered to. But it should start with the elect of the nation of Israel. Go ahead. And there shall be a time of trouble. Well, a time of trouble, which we just read, Jeremiah 37. Alas, that day is great, you know. But he should be saved out of it. Go ahead. Such as never was seen, there was a nation, even at that same time, and at that time, right. that because this day, this, this day can be compared to any other uh, day in history that you know. Slavery, you know. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Like he said, thy people, only the Lord people, which is the women, are going to be delivered. It didn't say the whole entire world. It didn't say everybody. It said his people are going to be delivered. That's ultimately the elect of his people. There is a chosen within the chosen. It's the women. Go ahead. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right, well, found within the book of life. Only a few names found within that book. Only a women. Only a group of men. This is 2nd This is uh Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 16. And it says, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Right, greater evils, man. Shall be done hereafter, man. You see? For this day, none, none is like it, man. We're we coming into, uh, uh, into the hour of temptation, which uh, is really about to be hot. You know? It's going to be hot. It looks like I'm going to uh, try everybody with fire, man. You know? You got Ezekiel 9? Yeah. This is Ezekiel 9, chapter 4. And the Lord said, uh, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. So Jerusalem is a people for us a place. So the Lord telling the angels, you know, read again. Before. This is Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4 and the Lord said unto him go to the midst of the city go to the midst of Jerusalem this is Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4 and the Lord said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry of all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So only a few people have this mark, and that mark represents the wash, meaning it's just from judgment. You see? It's a time of Esau mark, Revelation 13 and 16, that plentiful uh, grain of life in your forehead or in your hand. This time of uh, your how about your shot mark, meaning it's just from judgment, which we should be wanting and begging to be exempt from judgment. This one's coming to the other, Justin, man, his wealth, you know? Go ahead. And to the others, he said, in my hurry, go ye after him through the city and smite. And smite means what? To kill, slaughter, destroy. Go ahead. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Right, because the angels don't have emotions, you know? They, they want to appease the wealth uh, that, that, that made them. You know, they'll be business praying, uh, they'll be spirits praying for me. Go ahead. Slight utterly, old and young, both maid and little children. Right, both maid and little children. Go ahead. And women. And women. And more women on the earth than men. So, there's going to be a lot of bloodshed out here, man. A lot of uh, death, chaos in these streets, man. You see? And the Lord says, slight old, ugly. You know? Go ahead. But come not, but come not near any any man upon is the mark, yep. and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. So if your name that found within the book of life, your ass, your ass toast, you grass, man. You gonna be destroyed. You see, for all the ones that have the mark of the one, those are the ones that have the uh, uh that have the uh, uh, the watch. Man, it's not only the book of life, man. See? Yeah. 
21 for then shall be great tribulations such as was not seen the beginning of the world since the, since the beginning of the world to this time all right see this bag up that bag up daniel all right that bag up daniel what daniel said man all right because we understand through the scriptures this is the worst time that ever gonna be on the face of the earth all right because you can add up all the events the lord showed his power it still ain't gonna equal up to the time that's coming upon the earth now, man. And we understand through history that the Lord did his thing. You know what I'm saying? The Lord did his thing. The Lord makes say, ooh, I'm glad I won. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I'm glad I'm earth of life. Ooh, I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? But this time, man, it's gonna be way worse. So, ooh, I don't wanna be wet. I don't wanna be a part of that. I don't know how you can, you can, uh, uh, work towards that and you, and you repent and turn back. That's the only how you can work towards towards that deliverance, man. Towards that salvation. If you repent, man, all right, be soft and start to rehearse the righteous act, man. If not, your ass gonna be doomed. You got it out. And except those days should be shortened, there should no yeah. flesh be saved before the elect says, say, those days shall be shortened. Yeah, those days should be shortened. It's all about the elect at the end of the day. You know, you're not part of the elect. You just ain't part of the elect. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, yeah, see, go right we, back. You're we, we hoping. I like that. We give it what's a give diligence like to make your car less and show, man. man. Uh -huh. This is why time, the up spending faster for the elect's sake, man. That's right, brother. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, can, get that for our not real. Yeah. Good. Jumping down to verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Yeah. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Wait, the clouds. Jump to Revelation, New Revelation 1 to 7, man. You know? Yeah, it's like the cloud. Yep. Yeah. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he coming with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And everybody gonna see our Lord and Savior. You know? Which is your how it's out, man. Crack on the skies, man. No, go ahead. And they also was pierced him, and all kings of the earth shall well because of him. So that that food we incarnation right there, you know, God Lord crucified the pierced uh, two thousand years ago, man. You know, so hey, he back here today <laughs> in a different um uh, flesh. Hey, I'm back real quick. You see, but it said, behold, he come with clouds, no clouds. Clouds represent the so-called UFOs, That's which right. are the chariots of our salvation. Those right. chariots go That's put send out more fire yeah. upon the earth. You got it in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Psalms 104 and 3. Yeah. Who, yeah. who led the beams of the chambers in the water? Who make it the clouds his chariots? Yeah, who make it the clouds his chariots, man? Who walk it upon the wings of the wind? Right. So what's in those clouds? What's in those chariots? <laughs> This is Psalms chapter 68, verse 17. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai in the holy place. Right. So the Lord is among them, even thousands of angels, man. So ain't no big green head aliens, which aliens just mean uh, born, which our Lord is not from this world. He told, who told uh, Pontius Pilate? I'm not from here, man. <laughs> you see? Go ahead. Go back to Matthew. Good. Going back to Matthew, it says, and, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man come in the clouds of heaven. Why are they going to mourn? Why are they going to wear because of them? Because the Lord come back with that fire, that judgment. Go ahead. And, and mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man come in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Verse 31, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. But the Lord will gather together his elect. You see? His elect. Go, go ahead. Hey, hold on. Jeremiah, this is Jeremiah 16. His elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Woo. Just like we was we were scattered, 
You know what I'm saying? That's how we're going to be gathered. We're going to be gathered by what? The spirit. All right? That's why you see uh, 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 brothers that resonate, you know what I'm saying, the spirit breath witness with them in our other country, in other way. Why? Because that's the gathering of the elect. But the book that is delivered will come here, Babylon, the great. Out of Babylon. You think it was Jeremiah 16, Father uh, 14? It's Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right, out of the land of Egypt, ancient Egypt, man. You know, they still been talking about today. They made Esau made movements on that, man. Mm -hmm. So the Lord gonna put that to, uh, I say, to shame, you know, the lack right. of battle words, man. Go ahead. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. From the land of the north. So the Lord about to top that. Yeah. About to deliver us, deliver us from um, modern day Egypt. Yeah. yeah. You see? Yeah. But he did his thing. He, did he his delivered thing. us out of Egypt. That's why I said the Lord is known by the judgment of yes, he can. The Lord yeah. was known by that, man. Yeah. You know? It was known. <laughs> Even to this day. They still talk about the flood. You see? You know, they still the trying to go over there. And dig up artifacts, dig up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, old land bones and shit, structures and shit. Yep. He's all still over there trying to do it. You know? Go ahead. And from all the lands whither he had driven them, and I will bring them again in the land right. that I gave unto their fathers. Right. Matter of fact, bag them up with Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Yep. Because the, the land is the promised land, man. That's right. Which you let heads, you know? Y'all, y'all real people, man. I ain't, I ain't fulfilling no prophecy over there, man. Yep. I don't see no streets paved with gold over there. I still see wars going on in the world. And the show, not the other side shit. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 you know, that, 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 that switcheroo ass shit. You know, we gonna be playing it in the kingdom of heaven, really? Ain't no, ain't no side of it going on. Hey, you, you, gonna, you gonna get your ass uh, handed to your partner. Like on a Friday, you know what I mean? Like big wine, we just get a hand to you. <laughs> this is Deuteronomy 28. So they let so you know the Lord about to top that, man, in this, in this lifetime, man. You see? Yeah, they think it's a thing. You know, because Esau put them in that, in that, in that, uh, a comfortable spirit. But why sit on your lead, man? Because what, you're not discerning the time that we ain't said, measure the time dinner in itself. And you gonna be watching, you gonna be like, shit, what time we in? Do you not know when the last days? Other last days? And you get second Peter spirit, spirit too. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Right, see, this is a curse that was placed upon us. The so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American, Hispanics. All right, you wonder why you speak Spanish. Who was you talking about? The Spaniards, you know? You wonder why you speak English. Who were you talking about? You know, the English the, the, and the British. You know, you wonder, you wonder why you speak these different type of languages because you was talking about someone. Because our true language goes back to our heritage, which is where? The Hebrew. But what the Lord said, go back to the curse, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 68 uh, and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. See, well, he have driven us. So the Lord gonna driven us, well, he gonna drive us, all right, among all people. You see that? So you got Israelites in China, Korea, Japan. We what? We were driven among all people. Go ahead, Ops. From one end of the earth, even to the other, yep. and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither nor thy father have known, even wood and stone. See, so they bagged the brother precept up. You gotta go back to the precept you had, huh? This is back at Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 15. Uh. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, yeah. and from all the lands where did he have driven them. See, the land of the north is where we at now. We went to North Black Hemisphere. That's where we at now, right? And the Lord said he's going to deliver us from her. That's what we're patiently waiting on, man. 
All right, you have a shot to crack them clouds, man. All right, and beam the elect up. And he said wherever he have driven them. So you're going to see Israelites getting beamed from Russia, China, even from uh, 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 Israel, man, what they call Israeli. All right? Just for fear of prophecy, man. Because the Lord said, well, he is a man that he well, he shall not lie. So if, he, uh, if he's spoken it, guess what? It's going to happen. Go ahead, right? And I will bring them again into that land that I have gave unto their fathers. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 10, and it reads, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9, and it reads, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. What's the Lord's promise? For to give the kingdom to Israel, you know, to destroy Babylon the great. Those are some of his promises, man. You know, the Lord said he's not a man that he should not lie. See? Go ahead. So the Lord not slack. He said, go and tear away from him. Go ahead. It says, as some man count slackness. There's two thirds of our people. They're tearing. You see? They're pulling off day, day to day. Yeah. They're going to wait till the last minute. But it's long suffering to us were right, long suffering to us were, man. Because the Lord said, be patient, wait till you call me. Right? Wait till they suffer not to wait. Patience. And they're going to suffer all of it, man. But yeah, won't yeah, you yeah. that uh, what's that? Won't you that have lost patience, man? Yeah. You see? They, yeah. they took your hand from the plan with the woo, man. You gave up. So like won't remember, you. remember when you plan, when you plan high to see, you yeah. go high somewhere. What you do? You wait. You know what I'm saying? You wait till somebody find you. You might come out air nine then, but but the whole matter is what you wait. You wait, and that's what we doing. We hiding ourselves what in the truth, Psalm 91. And what we doing? We just wait. We waiting on your house try to find us, man. Come and get us. You see? But we gotta what? We gotta wait patiently, man. Quietly. Yeah. Say quietly too. That's right. We got to hope. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9, and it reads, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Right, that all should come to repentance. Only a few will come to repentance, and that's the, uh, the house of David. The remnant. You know? That's right, bro. Verse 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Well, come, come as a thief in the night. By the missiles, the chariots. Will you uh, least expect it? Yeah, sleeping one eye open, they ain't, ain't gonna uh, ain't, ain't gonna cut it. You know what I'm talking about? Sleeping one eye open, they ain't gonna cut it, man. And it says, what I say is how China wake out of sleep now. You know, you know how nigga be laying in the bed. I'm up. I hear everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga sleep like a motherfucker. But like he hear everything while he sleep. Now you don't want to be that nigga, man. You know, you want to be fully awoke. Fully awake. Fully equipped. Fully equipped. Fully equipped. You know what I'm saying? Fully equipped. 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 You still stagging and yawning and shit. You still gotta you know, put on the whole armor for the Lord. It's too late. He ain't ready. He ain't ready. Hey, get Romans 13 11 real quick, huh? Now you let the bus go on by. Your salvation is gone now, man. Because you weren't ready. Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now is the high time to awake out of sleep. Well, you gotta know what time it is, though, man. But we know what time it is. Yeah, that right, the bro. day Lord should, should come as a thief of the night. The speaker of the second that's wrong in the field chapter, man. We know what time it is, man. Yeah. You see? Go ahead. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So it's high time to awake out of sleep. 
You see? Yep. Awake to righteousness. This is Revelation 3, starting at verse 2. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain. So you got to be watchful, stand upon our watch. That's what the man to do, be in self respect. Yeah. And things that remain which are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before the Most High. Verse 3. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, if therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon right. thee. So you're not watching, you're not, not, you're not gonna know what time the Lord wanna come, man. Right. He's gonna visit you, man. That's when the Lord said, Blessed on seven, when the Lord come, he found something doing, man. So if you're not watching, the Lord will come upon you as a thief, man. And the Lord himself don't know what day or hour, know the angels. No, nobody knows except the Heavenly Father, man. Yep. So that's that's like a thief. Yep. Mm, you, yep. you don't want your house to be broken into, man. So keep your house in order, man. But say, uh, stay ready for you won't have to get ready. Exactly. You got, you got some? Yeah, I had some. Go ahead. It's uh First Thessalonians chapter five, verse four. Uh, hey, we want it, Bubba, so I you. It's First Thessalonians chapter five, verse one. But of the time in in the season, brethren. You have no need that I write unto you. See, uh, Paul is saying it. You have no need that I write unto you, man. You already know. Yeah, yeah. You dealing with it, you know? Uh-huh. We, we know the time. Uh, we know we're in the time of love. We're in the time of peace. Yeah. They be classed in the third chapter. Let us know. It's a time of purpose for everything underneath the sun. Right, bro. You know? This ain't the time to be trying to uh, be a rapper and shit like that. You know? Be a family, man. Moving, man. He's, he's about to come out with this uh, implantable grain of rice, man. Yep. He's about to make that mandatory. He already uh, got a uh, cash in society coming. When we hear everything go this to man. You know? And uh, I, ain't, I ain't just saying, you know, about the family, man, but you gotta have your priority straight. You know, you gotta, have, you gotta know when it's the time to put them out. You know what I'm saying? It's the time to be with them. Because our main focus is who? You have about Shimon Shah, his ministry. Yep. And you know what I'm saying? And yeah, what the Lord said, those that do the will of my father, save my brother, save my sister and mother. Right. Right. Man. So your true family is the one that's doing the work of Yahweh Shimon Yeah, because you got you got you know you got you got newcomers in the truth and they're trying to see how they can battle that. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with their family and still trying to be able to make it to camp and teach and read and study, but your main focus is true. That's how I did it three times. You know what I'm saying? Because look, the Lord gave us a job to do. That's part of the sacrifice. You know? Mm -hmm. Right. Between your bodies and living sacrifice. Yeah. You know? So when it's time to clock in, you got to clock in. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, uh, well, who, who, what type of nurse that is? They be on call. I know it's a talent number, but it's another one. You know, you never got the call, you gotta drop in and come to work. That's how the Lord is. You come to brother call you, you know, what you got going, brother? You, you gotta drop everything. Hey, I gotta go with the bro. Hey, right, give me a second, I'm, I'll be there. You know what I'm saying? We don't call. You know what I'm saying? So you, you might have to, up, you know, upset your woman. You know what I'm saying? You might have to upset your woman. You know, you might have to upset your woman. On a dinner date or something like that. You know, you don't upset your kids. You might have to upset your family. You know what I'm saying? Because what? The brother. You know? Time is coming for that, man. But that's why you got to prep yourself now, man. Remember, proper preparation prevent poor performance along with faith, man. Because at the end of the day, we have to do what the Lord commanded us to do, man. You know? And that's his work, man. But you got to all right now. Go ahead. You got something. It's, uh, back at First Thessalonians chapter five, verse two. Oh. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Yeah. For when they shall say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child. Right, so in the blink of an eye, you see. Now how does destruction gonna come, man? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And they shall not escape. Well, you never gonna be able to escape the missiles Ooh. when they come. When he comes to thief in the night, man. I said, no, no, no. But ye brethren are not in darkness, 
that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are all the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Well, so let's keep our lamp lit, you know. So you gonna let the uh, so you, This is Second Peter chapter three and verse ten. And it reads, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise." What's that great noise? The milks. Go ahead. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What can cost it? Nuclear fire, man. Go ahead. They say the elements. The, the elements you can't see. They, hey, they're going to be burned up. Yeah. Go ahead. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. It should be burned up. But we know the earth about it forever. You know? It says in verse 11, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be? And all holy conversation in Ireland. Right, and that conversation in Greek is anastasia. Meaning your behavior, your conduct, your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Knowing that the second death is fastly approaching how you should be living your life. You see? You should be living your life obeying the Lord to the best of your ability, man. Be hosting the right to that, sparing him. Keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man, right? You got that, yeah. man? This is, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Right, so this is why you were born on earth. You see, this is your purpose in life. Not to just dunk a bas basketball or catch a football or play uh, golf and shit. You know? No, your purpose in life was to fear Him and keep, and keep His commandments. You see? Not to live your best life. Hey, you live your best life in the kingdom of heaven. Once Esau heaven be destroyed. Yes, Lord. Right. For the most high shall bring every work into judgment with every single thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Yeah, every single thing. And what it said, we must all appear before the judgment, judgment seat of the house of Man. You know? Yeah, Everybody got to be judged, man. Hey, that's very brave too, because what it said, you rather fall in the hand of the Lord than the hand of the enemy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be on that good, that good grace side, that sure mercy of David. That's what we're looking forward to. You know what I'm saying? We know our righteousness took the last. We know we fucked up, man. But guess what? We trying. By what? We're hurting the righteous ass. The Lord will have mercy on us, man. All right? In the time he come to take Esau out of power and destroy two-thirds of our people. You know? So that's prophecy. We are coming to pass, man. All right? Oh, you got some out? Yeah. Not, let's just go on to the, uh... Okay, thank you. Sir. You good? Uh, this is right. taking every... We started at one. Uh, uh-uh. Alright, this is, this is taking every 16, starting at verse 18. Uh-huh. It says, the beginning of sorrow... No, no, started at 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is, this is taking every 16 and 17. Woe is me! Woe is me, who should deliver me in those days? Right, the days that the brother had brought out earlier in, in Daniel. You see, they all saw the same vision that you got what? Different interpretations of it. Well, they saw the end time. They saw how bad and brutal it was going to be. Look at this. Good. This nigga need to be, I'm talking about, hey, we could not play Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? He, he deserved it just, nigga, run up again. <laughs> Throw him in the ass off the school though. Wearing that shit. Go ahead, up. This is second Ezra 16 and 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who should deliver me in those days? Right. The beginning of sorrow. Right, and we read that, right? When you go into trouble, you go into sorrow. Alright, it's the but it's the beginning though. You know what I'm saying? It's the beginning of sorrow. Go ahead. It reads the beginning of sorrows and great mourning. And great mourning. It didn't just say beginning of sorrows and mourning. It said great mourning. All right, so it's going to already, when it, when it begins, it's going to be at its peak, man. Go ahead. The beginning of famine and great death. Right, see, the beginning of famine and great death. See, going back into what we spoke on last couple of weeks about the cannibalism. You see that? It's going to be mad stuff, man. Because people are trying to offer themselves. People going to be killing other people when you go into the second end of the 15th chapter. All right? 
they ain't gonna regard nor the king nor princess because of what the, the uh, course of action is gonna stand in their power. Niggas ain't gonna be giving a damn. Because who can, who can you call on? Besides, you have about Shimon Shaka to lift you out of that, out of that, uh, that situation. There ain't gonna be no 911. You know what I'm saying? Well, you can't call Big Brother. Well, you, uh, 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 wretched ass hoes. You know, I want to give your brother some shit. I'm gonna call my brother. He gonna beat your ass. What did that day? You can't call Big Bro. You know what I'm talking about? You can't call E. You gonna have to just suffer that ass whooping. Because them troops don't give it to you. All right? It's gonna come, bro. It's gonna be evil times out here, man. Evil and only evil. Go ahead, Doc. You got something real quick? Yeah, go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 13. Son of man, when the land sinned against me by trespassing grievously, then when I stretch out my hand upon it, and I will break the staff of the bread thereof, it will set famine upon it. Right, exactly. Because, read that again, bro. I'm going to show you how you train, uh, how you, uh, go ahead, read it again. This is Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 13. Son of man, when the land sent up against me by trespassing. By what? Trespassing. How's that? Because you ain't keeping the laws, statutes, commandments. You ain't going by the guideline. So guess what? You trespassing. All right? Go ahead. Then will I stretch out my hand upon it, and will break the staff of the bread thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it. Exactly. And Esau, he trespassing. Because this is not his land. Well, he had in Israel, but they call Israel. That's not his land. So he trespassed. All right? This is stolen property right here, man. But what the Lord said he going to do? He going to cut it off. All right? He going to cut it off, man. But you got it out. Jumping back to second. It's cut the bread 16. out. That's why you see a lack of bread, lack of water. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get more into a lack of resources. So who can we run to? Who can we call upon? All right, you have about Shema Go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. Yeah. The beginning of wars and power shall stand in fear. Right, see the beginning of war. You know, when the last time Jake uh, uh, did, did uh, a ride? Not that little bullshit they did for uh, George Floyd. But the last time they did that was Rodney King. And they took their own neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be the beginning of wars, man. Actually, Esau versus Jacob. You know what I'm saying? Jacob versus Esau. Jacob versus the other nation. Bro, it's going to go down, man. All for the what? The lack of bread when you're going to uh, second Ezra, the 15th chapter, man. Matter of fact, grab that right quick, huh? Because that was going to make Jake uh, 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 continue in wickedness because of the lack, all right, of uh, uh, bread and water. And Esau know what he's doing because that's how you get control of the people. Go ahead, uh. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invaded one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes uh -huh. in the course of their action shall stand in their power. Right. So in that day, I seen a nigga on Instagram, right? The boy had, the boy, <laughs> the boy had two long ass guns in his hand, right? And he had about four all across his waist. And then he had one, like he got his legs and one arm. Nigga, you can't shoot that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be able to shoot all that. Your ass gonna die, nigga. Because it's gonna be hard for you to aim. When you got a specialty, I mean a specialist, Esau, with a motherfucker 20, 20, 20, uh, 250 feet long range scope on your ass, ain't gonna knock your noodles back. You know what I'm saying? So all them guns is worthless. That's why what they did a song with uh, 98 when it said, Trust in thy boat. I will not trust in thy boat. No, no, neither that boat can save me. You know what I'm saying? Jake got her strap like Jack. But nigga, that, that strap ain't gonna save you, nigga. Motherfucker, uh, hey. I don't even know why Jake even got that many guns. They ass can't even shoot. No way. 
Shit, you could, they could be close up on you, still hit the wrong person. I, I'd, have, I'd have been in that. <laughs> I'd have been in that shootout, man. Here we go, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go around my niggas, right? I come up out the porch, I'm gonna run down the street. Then you know, bum, 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 bum. I'm like, oh, see, so I, I can just stand back behind the tree. Man, them niggas, I'm to my run. Not even, not even 10 feet away from each other. Ain't nobody hit nobody. But they find them hoes, though. JK shoot. But you fuck around with Esau, he gonna sit down, he gonna plant that bitch, he gonna make soap. He the air target. You see? Go ahead, it out, the second S15. First, this back at second edge of chapter 15. And then you got don't you got uh don't feel minutes, society, you got uh 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 boys in the hood, and every goddamn movie Jack ever played in, dealing with them guns, how they shoot. They taught niggas how to shoot like that. I mean, y'all niggas shoot like this while we shoot like this. Because this is the correct way how to shoot. You know what I'm saying? They taught niggas how to shoot the wrong way. So they do shoot the bullet go where? That way. You know what I'm saying? The bullet go that way. The bullet go. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to tell Jake how to shoot. Which is the wrong motherfucking way. You ain't gonna hit shit. Go ahead. This is back in Second Edges, chapter 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city it should not be able. They're gonna be martial law. You see how we desire to go go over to uh, to West Memphis, how y'all desire to come over here. And, uh, two, two years ago when they had the, uh, the shutdown. Man, bro, I wish y'all come over here, man. You know what I'm saying? Damn, man, I wish we could. But wait, wait till you get to this point. You're gonna desire to talk to a brother or be with a brother. And you're not gonna be able to. If you ain't got your boo, boy, it's over with unless the spirit Direct that pal. You're going to be desire to see your boo. You know what I'm mean? saying? But you ain't going to be able to. Got it out. For because of their prize, the city shall be troubled, the house shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, and man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. I said men shall be afraid. You see that? Men shall be afraid. I know niggas now are scared of rats. I be trying to kill that. I'm talking about, boy, I know how to torture them hoes. You hear know I me? Mean? I done learned growing up, boy. I, I don't know how to torture them hoes, but you got niggas still scared of them. Roaches and shit, still scared of them. Grasshopper crickets and shit. You got actual niggas still scared of them, even to this day. And them, and, and they can't fight you. You know what I'm saying? It's an easy kill on them. As long as you got something in your hand, you don't know how to use your feet or your hands to kill something. You know? But guess what coming though? Evil. So it said even me should be afraid, man. Alright? Go ahead. But shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. Right, and then modern day sword is with the gun. You don't have uh, certain people that will have swords, but the sword is represent the gun, man, which is which is uh uh Edomite uh blessing. You know? Go ahead. And for great tribulation. Cause remember I was telling you how my supervisor, I mean not my supervisor, my boss, you know, he showed me his collection. You know, it's on his phone, he was just showing me. And they got motherfucking, the nigga got, uh, I know it's like three, four shells, but it's three, four of them, uh, number bullets. You know what I'm mean? saying? And then on the other wall, he showed me all his peanut butter, crackers, and all other, all types of food and shit, etc. how he got shit that's it up because he know what time is you know what time coming and he said how their neighborhood got uh automatic trees that if, if they alert that uh some someone in a neighborhood that don't post long enough how the trees collapse and, 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 and uh block them in no escape so them edomites already trained man them edomites got their shit together what they doing bullshit you know what i'm saying Bullshit. I ain't got that shit together. So the Lord will come to the of the night and fuck them up. Why well, these eating mice are already on game? They ready. They ready for you niggas to come over there and try to take that shit. They gonna blow you niggas away, man. And that's why the scripture uh, say that the, um, I think the children of the uh, light, how I go, they wiser than uh, the I children of the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, this world is wiser. Like, yeah, Esau might uh, been wiser than um, 
that uh Jake in this in this lifetime. Yeah, on that corner shit though. Yeah, cause my Jake always gonna be in that party and spirit. Always gonna be in the house of mercy. Yeah. My wife, my Esau, my looking up, my what's going on? Uh, my they got earthquake, they got diseases going on. Uh, well, they, 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 they don't teach they son uh, how to use a sword, how to use a gun. You know what I'm saying? Or how to do come back to come back. They can teach their sons that. Look at Cody Black. I seen a look uh, uh, skit on him with Cody Black on uh, Instagram. He got his son up there rapping his lyrics. Saying all the foul shit that he say. You know what I'm saying? I, when I saw I said, oh, the water you have my shot. I ain't bring my son up in that, in that life like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I see my brother here, you know what I'm saying? How they raise their son, they in that life. You know what I'm saying? Which is, which is fucking corrupted and wicked. You don't want, why you want that for your son? You should want better, because you already lived that life. You know what I'm saying? But if Jake got that mindset, he's just a, 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 a adaption. Generation of what? Generation of generation. That's why the Lord has to promise to what to break that generation, break that tradition. Now we're gonna start a new generation, man. A new tradition. A, a new tradition of what? Of uh, rehearsing the righteous act. Now let's breed them sons, them daughters, you know what I'm saying, to rehearse the righteous act and how a kingdom gonna be. So wisdom what? Bring it forth a kingdom. And what is wisdom? All right, uh, 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 the law of statutes command. It says the law of the wisdom, man. What you guys know, all right? Says it on there. Go ahead, This is Matthew 24, I start at 12. Yeah. And it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Go ahead. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Exactly. It's gonna be a lot that go on, man. But it's saying he that dare to the end, the same shall be saved. Because a lot of, a lot of uh, spirits out here, hey, that's why I say gonna be what? I four nine two four two. You know, because it's gonna go down in a minute, man. You know, but he that dare to the end, the same shall be saved. We should open the elect. And Lord willing, we are part of that number. But one more, uh, I'm not. We can do more that, bro. Go ahead, I right, jumping back to second Ezra 16 and I read uh 18 again. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and powers shall stand in fear, right. the beginning of evil. What shall I do with these evils to come? Right. Behold, famine, plague, tribulation, and anguish are sent as forges. For a mimic. Right, did not the Lord say ain't nothing new under the sun? So we're doing the same thing as the prophets of old have done. Prophesy against what? Many countries. Great kingdoms. Of what? War, evil, and pestilence. The same thing that's been to go on here, but what? Time sin. Because like we go back to Daniel, this is the the, the, the time that it ever uh since the nation, man. The worst time ever. Alright, and we're here to tell you to repent before what the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And our salvation is good if we believe. But if you don't hearken to this, you don't take heed to this, you're gonna be caught in the destruction. And who gonna pity him? Who, who, who gonna pity you? No one. The nigga you've been warned. You know, and woman you've been told. See? Babylon fucked us up, man. Christianity really put it to the toll of us, man. To Christianity, Pastor, I just made a video. I gotta watch it. You know, he's like those these, these pastors are set up, man, to deceive us, man, and to keep us. You know what I'm saying? In that docile state of mind, man. These preaching the pastors, man, lying like a hoe, man. Lying like a hoe. Go ahead, now. Verse 20. But for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness. Right, he's not gonna turn from his wickedness. Two-thirds not gonna turn away from that. They're gonna, they gonna turn up. You see? They're gonna turn up. You know how Esau got their favorite slogan? Over my dead body. You think they're gonna turn back? Oh, no, hell no. Nah. Go ahead, Doc. Right? Nor be always mindful of the forces. Yeah, they're not. Because they're gonna be in that, in that demon like spirit. You know? And then guess what? It's me against the world. And what they're gonna go back to? Hey, you ain't rocking with me? We're gonna kill you. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what they go, uh, go rely back to, man. But the Wadi High by Shemal Shah, he gonna keep us away from that. All right, dear to what? Psalm 91. He said, so know what? Evil befalls thee. You see that? The Lord touched thee, man. The Lord gonna keep us out the way. We don't see it, but the Lord gonna keep that away from us, man. The Lord willing he do, man. You know? Oh, hey, oh, what am I gonna call you? This uh, Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw nigh. One more time. This is Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass. What thing? The vision that was set for an appointed time. When the Lord said, at the end it shall speak and not lie, right? So when you start to see the earth crazy down for his face, the uproars of the people. You know what I'm saying? When you start to see the, 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 uh, the theme of truth walking up and down your street. What it say? Ah. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draws nigh. See? So when these things start to happen, hey, what are we looking for? You have a shot to redeem us. You know what I'm mean? saying? We looking for salvation. And how we look it up? Through the scriptures. So now we still got what measure the time. You know what I'm talking about? That's how we look up. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. We almost done. We almost done. Oh, the the the, the, the sea hip is mandatory in China? Oh shit. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of time that it come to uh, to America. Yeah. You know, it's only a matter of time. What what's going down in December 13th? Oh. Oh, 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 hell yeah. It's getting close. You see that? It's getting close. So what we gotta continue to stay on our P's and Q's, man. And watch and hope. Uh, oh, let me end with that. Luke 21. Watch it, therefore, and pray. This is uh, Luke 21 and 36. Like watch it, therefore, and pray. Right, watch. Like, like I was speaking out earlier. You know, all how we are be caught as a thief in the night because what we watching. See? So the Lord said, watch. So we gotta put more action than, than, than speak. Action speak louder than the words, right? So how can you be accounted for something? You gotta prove it. You see? Go ahead. To escape all these things that shall come to pass. So in to order to escape it, hey, you gotta meet the requirements. Alright? And Lord willing, we meet the requirements, you know? Go ahead out. It says, watch ye therefore and pray always yeah. that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Mm. That let you know. That let you know right there. So you want to be accounted worthy to stand in the presence of your how about to man. You know? Or to do that, you got to repent. All right, and start the rehearsal right to act, man. All right, you must be to the Lord, man. You know what I'm talking about? But with that, I hope you brother super edified. You know, once again, we give all honor and glory and power to you. Yeah, I was by Timmy, I was died by Timmy Capagas. I want to say double untied elders of people blessed to hope the next time. Shalom. Shalom. Baba Ball. Baba Ball. Rock Hockey, man. Rock Hockey. DTA, bro. DTA.